أيها المسلمون the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he used to order the people when they saw a funeral procession because the remembrance of death is something that rectifies the individual and the society and the deen and the dunya and the hereafter and the affairs of religiosity and the affairs of this world and a person's relationships with other people in this world and a person's economic standing in this world it is all repaired by the remembrance of death and it repairs the situation of a person in the hereafter the Prophet Sallallahu therefore would order a person he would order people to stand up when they saw a funeral procession and a number of scholars and they are a minority said that this was abrogated and the evidence the preponderance of evidence demonstrates that it was not something that was ever left off by the companions of the, of the Messenger Sallallahu after the death of the Prophet Sallallahu even if they saw the funeral procession of a disbeliever. The Prophet وسلم, he said, Inna lil mawti la faza'a. Indeed, mawt is, is an affair of faza'. It is an upsetting affair. It is a terrifying affair. It is something that should bring a person to his feet when he sees a funeral procession. For verily that was a nafs and he has a nafs. And it was taken and they did not think that they will be taken and you do not think that you will be taken. And they were not ready and you will not be ready when it comes. And the reminder is something that will rectify your situation. In its entirety, are you al-Muslim? Inna lil mawti la faza'a. Indeed, mawt. Indeed, the affair of death. It is something that is quite terrifying. It is something that is quite upsetting. Al-Hafidh al-Bazzar rahimahullah ta'ala. He said, after mentioning this hadith, and this hadith was collected by Ali Imam Muslim, and by Ibn Khuzaym and his Sahih, and by others, authentically from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Al-Bazar, when he reported this hadith, he said after the hadith, وَفِيهِ تَنْبِيهٌ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ تِلْكَ الْحَالَةَ يَنْبَغِي لِمَنْ رَاهَا أَنْ يَقْلَقْ مِنْ أَجْلِهَا وَيَضْتَرِبْ وَلَا يَظْهَرَ مِنْهَا مِنْهُ عَدَمُ الْإِحْتِثَالِ وَالْمُبَال He said, this brings our attention to the fact that this scenario of death and seeing a person who has deceased, who has died unexpectedly, seeing the situation of this person when a person sees a funeral procession, and yaqlaq, is that they become unsettled, is that their heart is disturbed, وَيَغْفَرِبْ and they tremble and they shake, it shakes them to their core. When they see the hush, when they see the coffin, when they see the graveyard, when they see the reminder of death, it is befitting for the person who sees one who has deceased, that it unsettles him, that it disturbs him, that it shakes him to his core. And that he is not seen to be a person who is non charan and a person who is non cognizant, who doesn't take heed and lesson to the reminder of death. For this reason, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu wa ardahu, Hinema ra a rajul and yadhaka fi janaza, kala atadhaku ma al janaza la ukalimuka abadan. For this reason, the Salaf, they saw that the person who was not like that, who was not affected by the funeral of another, that this was a sign that this person was lacking goodness. It was a sign of evil in a person, and corruption in a person, and that the heart of a person was decrepit. Abdullah bin Mas'ud, he said when he saw a man laughing during a funeral, he said, you can laugh during a funeral on every...